Now aboard the flagship McKinley, signal flags go up. Each hour for a day is here for the vast complement of 40,000 men as Vice Admiral Blandy checks the time. And back on Kwajalein, the most top secret operation of Operation Crossroads. As packs are adjusted, behind the canvas screen, atom bomb number four is loaded aboard the bombing plane. Among the thousands of men involved, only a handful saw the bomb. Now the colossal, terrifying job of placing concentrated destruction on the target's focal point. She's airborne! Radio broadcasters on the job are badly snafu'd by interference. All over the world, a broadcast that had suffered from too much buildup, as well as interference, was a severe letdown. But there was tension and anxiety as a metronome ticked away the last seconds. Thousands of instruments are in readiness. Even as far as 30 miles away, crew members cover their eyes before the blinding flash. As a protection against radiation burns and glare at the moment of detonation, midnight black goggles have been issued. The sun is barely discernible. Now, target below, the battleship Nevada. Bombay doors open. The target area is clear. One second to go. Like a ball of fire lighting up the sky, the bomb shoots upward in purplish clouds of smoke, soaring to a height of 30,000 feet. 